Antes, Madame Berbiciate, the English. last visit oh, in English, okay. Today is November 28, 2021. Just paying attention to the way that Buddha explained Dhamma. He said, one way, peaceful for now and this life, then peacefulness for the next life and blissfulness for eternal liberation and happiness that is Nibbana. So all his discourses, when we consider, they are given to different range of wisdom, people with different wisdom. Those whom we call Trihetuka were the best people. They were given something like seeing is only seeing, hearing is only hearing, they are understood the whole theory, everything behind it. So it was said in a different manner and the discourses are given according. But for those who, like Anatta Pindika, those who were just lay disciples, he just gave a way to lead their life in this very life in a peaceful way and a wholesome way. That is Kusal and Akusal. He explained what is Kusal, what is Akusal, and he explained how it happens and how to avoid, and all about the precepts and protecting the precepts and seeing that we are protecting and to gain the peacefulness to live a happy life in this very life. Then he explained about the samsaric cycles and how we go along the samsara because he wanted to show that this is a never-ending process which like evolution we may do wholesome or unwholesome it can go either forward backward sideways or upward or downward it could go to any uh, cosmos level and we can suffer more and more. For such people, he explained in a different way. He also explained the cause and effect of all phenomena, which we call Patitsa Sampada. Then ultimately, he explained how this really happens and how we can see through and through all the Dhamma he explained. It is based on the four noble truths. That is understanding Dukkha, then the cause of Dukkha, then cessation, and the path to cessation. Then one Saranai.